Whoa. What is going- What is- Are you okay there? Hello everyone, and welcome to the project. I'm Alias, and I'm here playing a game called Blind Date. Uh, as you can see, it has some kind of glitch thing going on. So I'm expecting that's what we're going to see with the game. Is things acting out of context and weirdness going, ha going to happen. So uh, let us begin. Look at it, it's a beautiful table. People are going out, people are enjoying themselves. People are having a date. Or talking, or whatever. Ah, so it's a choice game. So, let's see. I guess the choices matter at the end. The question is, is what is up with the dude's pants? Did you spill some wine on yourself, dude? Or did you even wear the wrong pants today? Okay. It's a beautiful scenery with a beautiful cityscape. A beautiful date. You check your phone. She's 10 minutes late. You're not sure what to do. And discomfort starts to settle in your stomach. <sighs> Okay, I'll take a sip of water. You sip your water, it's warm. Okay, let's continue. Mysterious woman. Hey, sorry, I'm sorry I'm late. My car is in the shop and I have to take the tram here. Where did you live at? Okay. Uh, wow, I, um, <laughs> I want to be a jerk. Shit happens. I'll get over it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to be bold with this one. I'm going to say, I'm sorry, I probably should have come and picked you up. I didn't know if it would be appropriate. <laughs> oh, it's totally fine. <laughs> Blind dates are a bit of a gray area for me. I'm pretty nervous, admittedly. Okay. Karen. Her name is Karen, guys. So, I'm Karen. I know your friend Rebecca. What's your name? Okay. My name is... <laughs> My name is Will, but you can call me Bill for short. <laughs> oh, cute name. Tell me. What do you do? Oh, God. <laughs> I was not like this on my first date. My first date with my boyfriend was perfectly great. It was a rainy day. And we went to um, enjoy ourselves in, around, around LA. And we got to see anime shops, like cool anime shops. I showed them one of the places that sells um, Cloud Strife Sword. The, the buster sword that he has he got to held it so it was pretty cool it was the best date ever um he really enjoyed it um yeah so anyways not to deter you from this game okay uh I am a software developer for a company that makes dog face filters for selfies <laughs> I'm a door door team leader for Sun Life Nutrition. Uh, I used to work in mobile apps, but now I started training crypto instead. 9 to 5, kill me. I sound pathetic. <laughs> I like the first one. 
Oh, it's programming as hard as I think it is? You must be smart. <laughs> no, it's not. It, programming is just like math. It's just like algebra and remembering the formulas. That's all you gotta do. You just have to... It's like learning a different language, okay? For this brainiac, it's easy. I write scripts in my sleep. Between you and me, I'm not really sure why I haven't been fired yet. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, this is weird. But I just got the strangest feeling of deja vu. That's odd. That's like a flirty type of thing. Why would I say that? Huh, I'm sorry, this is weird, but I got the strangest feeling of deja vu. Why would I say that? Um, okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go uh, as being the funny guy who's trying too hard. Yeah. See? Karen laughs. It's good to know that you have a sense of humor. I wasn't joking. I try. Yeah, I'm a try. You succeeded. Thanks. The women shift uncomfortably for a moment. Why? You seem nervous. Are you okay? Uh. I was at first, but I'm better now. That's good. I try not to be too intimidating. So, where are you from? From womb to tomb, been living in the city my whole life. <laughs> Moved here when I was a kid, don't remember much of where I used to live. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, you poor thing, you must have been tough. Uh... I just appre- Oh, shoot, I answered the wrong thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, I adjusted very quickly just to avoid personal conversations. But... I couldn't avoid that one. Oh well. And why is that? I was a bit of a weird kid. People find me annoying. I just don't feel like being around anyone. I never really knew. People just didn't talk to me and I kept it to myself. You know what? Yeah, I can relate to that. I never really knew. And people also find me annoying, so... All right, um, that too. That's just the way people are sometimes. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's true. So, who was your last lover? Uh, excuse me? You heard me. Who was the last woman you slept with? Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I don't feel comfortable with that question. Karen releases an uh, apologetic sigh. I'm sorry, that was rude of me. Like I said, it's been a while since I have been on a date and I'm not very good at interacting anymore. Okay. Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's just cover it up, laughing nervously. I really appreci appreciate you taking me out. This is very nice, a very nice restaurant. I was reading the reviews on the way over. The view here is cute. I mean, cool, isn't it? <laughs> it that's so sweet. I'm surprised you haven't been on a date before. Okay. So how's Cassandra doing? Uh... Uh, I'm getting a whiff of a serial killer over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, my friend at work mentioned her. Apparently she used to work for the company. I thought she said it. 
Um, weird coincidence. Yeah, really weird. Why are you here? Oh. Whoa. What is go- What is- Are you okay there? You're fading away into a void. And something appeared here. Dude, look behind you. This, this state isn't what it seems. I told you there's going to be some glitching out to be expected. Lady, there's a hole in your face. And a hole on the table. Someone is eating their way through. Anyway. Why are you here? Sort of, but not really. <laughs> I, I picked the number three existently. Then what do you mean? Why are you here on this date? What made you come here today? Okay, uh, I'm honestly lost for words. You've been living alone for nearly three years now. That's a long time to be alone with your thoughts. What does your voice sound like? The one that eats away every day of your miserable existence. Okay, I didn't come to the state to be lectured by you. Whoever you are. I have you know that your feet cannot reach the floor. Even if you're wearing those high heels. And dinner hasn't came yet, so... At least let me eat first. And pay. Then you ask these questions. God, you're pathetic. The way you drink, the way you sleep. Your disgusting habits when you think nobody's watching. Uh... Come on, knock it off. I could see you shaking all the way from the entrance. Did you really think someone would actually want to come and meet you? Is this all in my head? Please stop. Oh. Okay. That was creepy. You'll always be alone no matter what you try to do about it. Do you really think anybody could ever reasonably love you? Uh, I think you're wrong. Far from it, this is exactly what you deserve. You hate yourself. Okay, the world's disappearing. And you hurt everyone around you. Uh, there's a blackout somewhere in that building. And yet you feel like you owe the right to be lonely. Uh, uh, shut up, shut up, shut up. You've been dead inside for years, maybe even your whole life. I see you eyeing up the pill in your medicine cabinet. Every time your cowardice wins out. Uh. Oh. Okay. Hello, eyes. I realize that how insignificant you are. Trying to. How insignificant you are in the grand scheme of your own life. How feeble your voice resonates. resonates. Uh, you're freaking insane, girl. No more insane than you are. And no matter how crazy I am, you're still a whiny little squirt who only exists to blog. Oh, to bog. Sorry, not blog. <laughs> Your existence is to block this every day. And <laughs> haven't the world seen enough of your patheticness? That should be a game. <laughs> Others down with your problems and be continually achingly lonely. Uh, why are you saying these things? I'm sorry. I know I sound angry, and I am. But it's not because I hate you. 
I just hate looking into your eyes and only seeing pain day in and day out. You're hollow. You're... You're hollow. And... You're on a blind date. Okay. And taking me All right, you're hollow, you're on a blind date. You should be happy to be here, to be talking to me, and yet you look so hollow. Mm. I just want to be accepted. We all want that sometimes. I mean, we all want something, but unfortunately you don't deserve that. That, this was a mistake. You should have, shouldn't have came here. Oh, you shouldn't have come here. You should, you should have stayed home. Order a pizza. No reason to take this abuse from me. I can never fix everything that's fucked up about you anyway. Uh, but you won't. I never will. Okay. I don't like this date. It's really turning bad. Look at her red eyes. And the glitchiness. Her red eyes are staring into me. I'm not gonna just magically fix your problems. If anything, I'll just make them worse. I'm not the solution. I'm the problem. What is this, a song? You're the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. You were my obsession. I followed you your whole life. I never seen someone so unhappy. So, uh... Why do I do this to myself? Uh, I'm so conflicted. So, what can I do now? I honestly don't know. That's something you'll have to figure out alone. You're not fit for a relationship. You shouldn't have rely on a blind date to be here. You should be able to meet people on your own. You shouldn't have come here. God, you're a mess. None of this should have happened. Uh, should have happened. I say I make things worse, but you're already mental wreck before you walked in here. Uh, why would you know that? <laughs> It hardly matters, you need to realize that nothing is going to change, that a girl is go isn't going to change anything. One may come into your life every once in a while, but you'll just be back to where you are now. The underlying problems never get fixed. Will it get better? No, it doesn't. You liar! It does. I'm optimistic. It will always get better. You, you lead a barren, desolated life. Does this scare you? Does it terrify you? Because it should. You are alone, completely, utterly worthless. You shouldn't have come. Your life is just going to be one endless stream of misery. That only ends in your in, in, uh, inevitable, uh, inevitable death. Yes. Faced with all this, with your loneliness, with this abuse, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to stay, because I'm optimistic. Oh, what you're saying isn't anything I haven't told myself a thousand times. <laughs> Keep going, I like this abuse. <laughs> I should pick that next time. I want to help you. I want you to recognize this. This horrible thing you are. Uh, sure, yeah, I recognize it. <laughs> if you don't like- If you don't mind my bonus, then tell me, what do you dislike the most about yourself? Uh... Okay.
all of these things hit the spot. All these three decisions just hit the spot right there. The creator of this game, and I think everybody goes through this. And it's good to know that I'm not alone in this. Because everybody in their life feels like they're not good at anything. There's Everybody in their life probably felt that they don't know what to do with their life. And everybody in life felt that they never finished anything they started. I guess I will go with the second one. I don't know what to do with my life. Because, sadly, I fit in that category. And, uh, I'm not as far as I could be if I tried harder. I feel so left behind. I wish I had more motivation. I would have to say motivation is there in my life. I wish I had more of it too. Um, trying hard is not hard for me to do. It's having the attention to keep at it. Because my attention span is very short. And, you know, I wish I had motivation and I wish, and I feel so left behind. So I'm going to go with I feel so left behind. When you tell me I'm worthless, you're preaching to the choir. I may as well be talking to myself. <laughs> okay. I never left my apartment, did I? You're very nervous. Your shirt, your shirt is soak. Um. Hey, the people are appearing again. But, Karen waits for you to finish. Everything you say to me. Do you really think she's going to grill you like this? Is this normal? Why would she dislike you? She doesn't even know you. I don't know what to believe. I think you know this isn't right. I think you know that these thoughts are all your own. The pain is real, but is there anything else? At what point are you holding yourself down because you're afraid to get up? I don't want to be afraid. What do I have to lose? Come on, goofball. You're late for your date. Continue. Oh, I was at the house the whole time. I knew it. Okay. It looks like I got the ending. Because I think there's different endings to this game. With, usually with these choices, there has to be different endings. Um, this game is pretty good. There's different endings. I wonder what happens if I get the jerk ending. Let's see. We're gonna do a, a jerk um, run. You know, she's 10 minutes late. Okay. Shift uncomfortably and just wait patiently. Continue. There she is. Uh, okay. Let's be a jerk. I suppose it does. Continue. So I'm Karen. I know your friend, Rebecca. Who's her? Your name? My name will be Joshua. Oh, cute name. Tell me what you do. Yeah. 
The world is like a huge machine that needs all the cogs and gears inside a function. You work for the man, it's not the worst. Are you calling me? Heh, <laughs> if that's so wig nut fits. Okay. You seem nervous, are you okay? Not particularly. I'm sorry for being presumptuous. Then maybe I should be showing my hand. Okay. So where are you from? You say I'm a tourist. I moved here a few months ago. Wow, moving is really hard. Do you like it here? It's always raining. I still a kid. I saw a kid get mauled by a raccoon. Cop siren. Oh, nice. So good. Yeah. <laughs> I could totally be a culture shock at first, but it really is nice. And it's a nice city. Lots to do. Lots of people to meet. And I think you'll do fine here. I'll get by slowly, even if it takes forever. So why so down? Uh. I just feel really isolated and in my own head all the time. What do you think that is? Because I'm a bit of a loser? <laughs> Says who? Says everyone. <laughs> well, they're not wrong. Excuse me? They're not wrong. You are a loser. You accomplish nothing and will... I have no one. You're seriously starting to piss me off. What, because I'm right? No, because you're being insensitive. Am I really being insensitive? <laughs> if I am just saying the, the facts. Are you crazy? Do you consider yourself a lonely person? What the hell is wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> but everything wrong with but there's everything wrong with you. Why are you here? Um it skips through to why you're here. Well, I've been trying to have a nice date. That's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? Hmm. Okay, seriously, what's your problem? I have no clue what you're talking about. Please stop. Okay, there it goes. You're wrong. Alright. I just need to get the F out of here. I'm gonna sing too. No matter how crazy I am, you're still a whiny little squirt. Okay. I know it sounds angry. Alright. But you should. I really shouldn't. Honestly, I don't know. Mm, let's see. I'm going to leave. I'm sick of taking this suit from you. I make my own choice. Thank you. Oh, wow. You check your phone. She's 10 minutes late. You're not sure what to do. Discomfort starts settling in your stomach. Oh, it took me back here. I just basically became a jerk. Usually, depression and... You have these inner voices telling you about yourself. You have these inner voices telling you, oh, you know, 
you're worthless. You're never going to do this. You're never going to do that. And they nag at you. And a lot of people like says, tune it, just, just tune it down and you'll succeed. And that is true, but it's always going to be there. So the thing is that you have to do is just tune it down. And if you succeed in tuning it down, those voices, you're able to succeed in life. And every day is always going to be another challenge. Every day is going to be something that you have to face. And whether it's a date, <laughs> whether it is an interview, whether it's going to college or meeting new people it's hard because the anxiety always gets the best of us I really like this game it taught me a lot and I believe that was the creator's motivation is to teach you about these things the game is really good I enjoyed it well thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you like the video Subscribe if you want to see more videos and comment down below what you think about this game and I will see you guys in the next round Bye guys